viewers, welcome to Women Now. Today is very special as we talk about fashion, fashion of none other than Vikram Fadnis, who's come all the way from India to exhibit his extremely gorgeous, exquisite collection. Let's take you inside and show you some of the stuff. <laughs> I feel awesome, awesome, awesome. I am amazed of what I saw out there. I think Vikram did an amazing, amazing job choreographing this, all these models uh, for this fashion show. It was awesome. Well, I haven't seen anything as grand as this before. So this was my first time really witnessing such awesome collection. Now tell me what went behind your mind when you wanted to put this whole thing together? I think it was really the... So the Bollywood fashion uh, and the connection with Bollywood, I wanted to bring it to Bay Area because I've never seen something like this. I've always been a big admirer of Vikram, the Lakme fashion and all of this in India. And I was always wondering, why doesn't it happen in Bay Area? Why cannot it happen in Bay Area? So one day I decided, you know, uh, my good friend Siti, uh, she has good friends with Rakesh, who does this school of fashion week. So we kind of connected and he said, Vikram Padnes. And I, I was like, how? I mean, he's like, he is like the Shah Rukh Khan of designers and he's super awesome and they connected and he is an absolutely amazing person and he understood this is happening for the first time in Bay Area. He worked with us and he worked with the models and he spent, uh, he's been here for over a week and we all have not slept. He is such a perfectionist, he's really good at what he does and I think all the, the vision I had, what he's put together for us is way better. And I'm so excited that I was uh, able to pull this together with, uh, you know, Janta Connection, Silky, Puru, to put this event together for Bay Area and, and I think everybody enjoyed it. Well, congratulations and I'm looking forward to seeing many such events now. Once you cross that hurdle, once you break that ice, then it's going to be so much more easier for you to bring up the designers. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Thank, thank you. you. so much, Anna. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Mumun. And thank you for giving us the opportunity to be your media partner. Thank you. Course, thank you so much. Silky, this was a fabulous show. It must have taken a lot to put this together. How are you feeling now? I'm very, very, very excited. This is like a dream come true. I've been thinking this for a very long time and finally I did it. So, no words. Honestly, I'm very excited. Now tell me what's going through your mind when you're watching all those models and Vikram and Dino and Malaika walk the ramp. What's going through your mind? Wow, when am I doing another show? <laughs> Honestly. That's that. Some more sleepless nights then. Yep, I'm looking forward to that now. Well, with the success of this, I'm sure there's many more coming on your way. So you, you gear up for that. Yep, I'm all set. All set. So tell me, what was it like to wear Vikram Fadnis and walk that ramp? So awesome and amazing. When we tried, we didn't know that it would be, look like amazing. Like, we couldn't believe it that we wore that. <laughs> So with makeup, hairstyle and the clothes, it was perfect. What did you think about it? 
I felt like the queen of the day. So I really loved it. I think it was very intricate. Uh, every piece was so unique and beautiful. I wish I could own them all, but hopefully I'll at least own one someday. Maybe one day. <laughs> Tell me more about your experience. Um, yeah, it was, it was definitely incomparable to any other fashion show that I've ever done. His line is absolutely exquisite and um, we really, I felt very honored to wear all of his clothing. I, I felt like, like a queen and yeah, his line is just incomparable to any other. <laughs> well, Girija, tell me, what, what was going through your mind when you were walking that ramp? Well, many things. First of all, uh, so grateful to wear his collections and vibrant and amazing clothes. And uh, the way he put everything together, um, so much hard work and I mean, it, the show was great. So, All of you looked fabulous. Thank you so much for putting that many hours into this. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to Silky and Shireen. Hey guys, this is Dino Moreo. I'm here. We're here in support of Two Cents of Hope. Uh, I think it's a great organization towards underprivileged children back home in India. So I think everyone make an effort and support Two Cents of Hope. So tell me more about Two Cents of Hope. What does that mean? So Two Cents of Hope is an organization that is working towards helping underprivileged kids in India. Um, so we do a lot of um, events uh, to raise awareness among people here. Um, and so the people here have, um, you know, been through it and they have lived in India and they know what the conditions are. Um, so what we are trying to build is an awareness um, to say that, you know, people have to come together to support a cause and support education, which would be the foundation for all the pieces going forward. Well, congratulations. This was a fantastic show and I hope you raise a lot of funds for the underprivileged kids in India. Thank you so much. And uh, actually, sp uh, especially today, uh, we have a, a very special program going on where we are raising money for mentally and physically retarded kids. Um, and these kids uh, need your help because um, they, ha they don't have a future without you know, the money that they can use for their education. Um, so that is the reason we are here today for this fundraiser and we do really hope that you know, we can raise the funds that we intended to. Well, good luck to you. I think the co collection is absolutely amazing. Every single piece. I know some of the girls were excited to even buy a few of the pieces because they just absolutely loved them once they tried them on. And yeah, they're beautiful. Calcos Financial Corporation was established in 1990. And since then, we have been providing outstanding mortgage services to uh, real estate professionals, builders, and individual homeowners who are buying and refinancing their mortgages. We assure you of our best and outstanding service. For more information, contact Roger Bakshi at Calcos Financial at 510-552-6117. Galati Financial. We work with an independent broker dealer with no predisposition towards any firm or products. Unlike large Wall Street firms who may have a conflict of interest, we truly represent you with no bias whatsoever. Our value offerings are customized to your personal needs. Our systems are transparent and inspire complete confidence in our clients. We've been doing what is right for you since 1982. We are always here for you. For an astrological reading to see what the future holds for you, get advice on career, family, relationships, and life's unexpected surprises. Call Pandit Parashar with over 35 years experience. Finding the right home in Silicon Valley can be challenging due to its diverse and dynamic landscape. We understand your needs and can help you narrow down your search and find you the right home that fits your requirements. Call us today. For more information, please contact Ajal Shahani at Intero Real Estate Services, 510-304-6754 or visit us at www.gajalshahani.com. 
come and experience the hottest and happening. The one and only LED Glow Bar and Restaurant in the Bay Area. Visit the ultimate lounge gp.com. The ultimate lounge gp.com. The ultimate lounge gp.com. Also enjoy unique dim sum style dining. Don't forget to mention this ad to get your complimentary ultimate beverage. The ultimate lounge gp.com. The ultimate lounge gp.com. The ultimate lounge gp.com. And now it's time for tips with Bandit Parashar. Today's question is, what is the significance of my time of birth when it comes to Indian astrology? Time of birth is actually very important when it comes to practicing Indian astrology. The reason is, birth chart is nothing but the picture of the sky on your date of birth, from your place of birth and the time you were born. Just imagine that if we take the same picture of the sky after one hour, don't you think it will look different? People born on the same day at different time will definitely have different luck. So if you want to know precisely about yourself, get the correct time of birth, call me Pandit Parashar at 510-886-4370 for detailed information about you. beautiful today. What do you think of the collection? I think the co collection is absolutely amazing. Every single piece. I know some of the girls were excited to even buy a few of the pieces because they just absolutely loved them once they tried them on. And yeah, they're beautiful. Absolutely. We're so excited to see the fashion show tonight. You look great. Thank you. Thank you so much. You look stunning tonight. What is your beauty secret? Thank you. Well, it's all the makeup magic and I love the collection as well. It's really nice. It's a good experience working with them and absolutely they're loving like, like they're so nice people. Like it's it's I have like a really good experience to working with these people and uh, yeah, uh, it's an excellent experience and it's really good. Yeah. You look beautiful. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your sari is beautiful. How do you feel in it? Thank you. I feel so pretty <laughs> and beautiful collection. Yes, you look awesome. And how do you like the collection? Yeah, it's it's great. I mean, everyone is so stunning. The colors are stunning. The work is excellent. So enjoying so far. Thank you so much. Good luck tonight. You look absolutely gorgeous. How is it to wear Vikram? It's fabulous. It's like a dream come true to me. He has great collections and each and every piece is outstanding. I'm going to buy this sari for sure. Good luck tonight. Thank you. This is Malaika Aurora Khan and you're watching Women Now. Hello everyone, welcome to Women Now. Now from Chaya Chaya to Muni, 
Malaika Arora Khan is everywhere. Today she talks to her about her style, ada, charm and Bollywood. So let's talk to Malaika Arora Khan. Malaika, welcome to Women Now. How are you? Very well, thank you. You look gorgeous as usual. Now I have a one of the most important questions for you. I know there's a lot of moms watching the show today. Uh, you're a mom, you're a model, you're an actor and also a producer. How do you manage to always keep looking good with everything going on in your life? <laughs> well, what you see right now, thank, it's all thanks to our hair and makeup people <laughs> who make us look good all the time. But I think uh, these are all roles that I really enjoy. They're all part of my life, whether it's being a mother or being, being at work or whether it's a model or on television or a producer. I think these are all roles that I really enjoy. So if you enjoy it, it shows on, it shows on you. So I think that's, that speaks volumes. Now, you're one of the style icons of Bollywood. If we dig into your wardrobe, what would we find there? Lots of black. <laughs> I love blacks, but, uh, and loads of shoes. I can't do without my, my shoes and uh, lots of stuff that I've probably been hoarding for many, many years, <laughs> plenty of it. But I think otherwise, besides that, it's always a mix of, of Indian and Western and casual and formal. It's a mix of everything. What is style according to you and what is your style? Style according to me, I think it's, it's as, long, as long as you're comfortable in what you're wearing, as long as you can carry it off with, with a certain amount of, of flair, that's what style for me. What is your favorite shopping destination? Well, actually, I have quite a few. Um, I, love, I love shopping in New York. I, I love London. I like Dubai. I like, yeah, these are a few places I really like shopping. Is there a certain accessory that you can't do without? Uh, my shoes. I love my shoes. That's my most favorite accessory. But besides that, uh, I love statement jewelry, like rings. I really like, you know, large statement rings. That's what I love. A little while ago, you were talking about being comfortable in what you wear. If you were given a choice between style and comfort, what would you pick? Definitely comfort. For me, that, I think that's what's most important. But um, if you are comfortable in something, you can make that look stylish. So for me, that's what really works. What is your number one advice to our viewers about looking good? Well, just keep it simple, keep it natural, and uh, you know, walk with a lot of confidence, and, and don't forget that killer smile that really helps. Well, I think personality adds to the style, and again, you look gorgeous today. Thanks for joining us on Women Now. Thank you, thank you very much, and so do you. You look lovely yourself. Thank you. You just get your bearings together and work towards the next one and that's how you do it. Initially when you start it's all a bit overwhelming but then once you get into a routine you understand that you know you win some you lose some. Hello everyone welcome to Women Now. Now mostly known for his die-hard looks and cute smile Dino Moria gets candid with Women Now. Today he's here with us to talk to us about his current and future projects as well as a little bit about his style quotient. Dino, welcome to Women Now. You look amazing as usual. I know you're in Vikram Padnes today. Um, tell me, if you were given a choice between style and comfort, what would you choose? I quite, I quite honestly would choose comfort because I feel if you're comfortable, you make it look even more stylish. You just walk tall, you walk confident, and that looks stylish. I think style and comfort can go hand in hand. It doesn't have to be stylish and not comfortable it can be comfortable too now we've often heard that your favorite um, thing to wear is boxes and lungi is that true and why well it quite honestly depends on where i am what i'm doing at that moment so in my house yeah the dhoti and boxes is the best but if i'm for instance i'm out here at a function tonight so i dress for the occasion if i'm going to a wedding or something it's either indian or a suit i dress to the occasion yeah now, if you're a model turned actor, there's so much going on in your life. It's pretty much a roller coaster ride. We get to see just the glamour side of it. Yeah. How do you maintain your cool? Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I think I, I play a lot of sport. So maybe that's what keeps me going and that's what kind of de stresses me, keeps me fit, 
keeps me looking fresh. Uh, I think it's very important for any anyone to be involved in fitness and health in a big way. So your lifestyle actually sort of dictates how you look and how you, you behave. Now, there are a lot of hits and misses being an actor as well. Like, Pyar Me Kabhi Kabhi was, didn't do really well in the yes, box office. Right, yeah. Exactly. How do you recoup after that? You just, you, just, you just get your bearings together and work towards the next one, and that's how you do it. Initially, when you start, it's all a bit overwhelming. But then once you get into a routine, you understand that, you know, you win some, you lose some. You got to pick yourself up and be prepared for the next one and give yourself everything for the next one. That might not work, give it again for the next one. That's it, you give 100% every time. And what's next for Dino Moria? Uh, well, I'm looking at producing my second film. I produced Jism 2. Now I'm looking at producing my second film. I'm looking at acting in two films actually this year, which will hopefully start in September. So yeah, you're gonna see me on the screen next year. Wonderful, we are looking forward to it. Now coming back to your style, what is your favorite shopping destination? Uh, quite honestly, when I come to the US or when I go to London, I, anywhere I go actually, if I see something that I like, something that's interesting, I pick it up. Is there a certain element in your dressing, maybe an accessory that you cannot go out without? Um, no, you know, I mean, maybe my watch, I like, which I haven't worn right now. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I wear a watch every time I go out. That's the only thing, but there's nothing I'm really attached to in, as such, which I think, oh God, I can't leave my house with that, without that. I guess, and today a phone is an accessory which you can't leave home without, because it's sort of a necessity. So, if that's a fashion accessory, yeah, my phone. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We enjoyed this conversation. <laughs>